Good morning. It's Monday, January 31st, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, Optional or Vital, and our scripture is Hebrews chapter 10. Let us hold tightly without wavering to the hope we affirm, for God can be trusted to keep his promise. Let us think of ways to motivate one another to acts of love and good works, and let us not neglect our meeting together, as some people do, but encourage one another, especially now that the day of his return is drawing near. I came across a quote attributed to C.S. Lewis the other day about genuine faith, and it went this way. The oft-stated, I don't need to go to church to be a Christian, will spasm and die out when the threat of persecution comes. If one can't commit themselves to the most basic task of the Christian faith when it costs them very little, it is a fanciful dream to believe they will pay the ultimate price when the stakes are highest. End of quote. The writer of Hebrews seemed to think the church gathering was vital for several critical issues. First, shoring up faith that could waver. Another quote, one I heard drop from the lips of evangelist Vance Havner when I was attending New Orleans Seminary was, Faith that was fickle at the first will fizzle at the finish. That was a home-style version of Hebrews. The basis, in fact, is that we are prone to wander, we humans. We need our faith strengthened. A second reason is motivating us in the right direction. I've heard motivational speakers all my life. Most of them do well and are helpful. Many are less so. But the motivational forces that have always served to make me a better man are those of personal testimony, whose lives I saw up close over time. Jerry was a businessman, Ossie a laborer, and Marshall was a steel worker. These men helped form me by their character. Incidentally, I met them all in church. And thirdly, encouraging. Putting faith's wheels on the rocky road of this life In days like these, with challenges political, societal, personal, medical, and every other way imaginable, it takes faith just to get out of bed in the morning. I could and would say so much more about the virtues and benefits of church if we had a couple of months this morning. Let it suffice here. It's vital, and the only evidence I need is what Jesus said. John chapter 13 So now I'm giving you a new commandment. Love each other. Just as I have loved you, you should love each other. For you today. So here I am, Monday morning quarterbacking. But I'll press the question nonetheless. Did you go yesterday? And if you did, was it habit? Or because it was as vital as your next breath? You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.